Welcome to the 2016 Capital One Orange Bowl featuring two college playoff ranking top 15 teams, number six Michigan versus number 11 Florida State. Michigan is second only to Alabama in yards per game allowed, 253 yards, and points per game allowed, 12.5. Florida State averages 35.3 points per game and averages 474 yards a contest. Something's got to give here in this matchup today. Michigan's defense is clearly its forte, and with guys like Jabril Peppers, Jordan Lewis, and Chris Wormley, they'll give Florida State fits all night. Peppers will affect the game on offense and special teams as well. The Wolverine offense hasn't been as good as the defense, but Amara Darbro is a legitimate threat on the outside and will test Florida State's talented cornerbacks. Dalvin Cook is a workhorse for FSU. He rushed for 1,620 yards and 18 scores this season and was the second leading receiver for the Seminoles, 30 catches and a touchdown. DeAndre Francois finished the year with 3,128 yards and 18 touchdowns against just six interceptions and will need to continue to be efficient against Michigan. Michigan's offense isn't world beating, but the Wolverines moved the ball well enough to get the job done. Florida State has a huge challenge on his hands with Michigan's defense, but Francois and Cook have the talent to make some noise. Let's see how this exciting match unfolds in our EA Sports NCAA 17 simulation. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Second down, three to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. They run left and he'll lose yardage. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the run. put them in better field position and I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. It's up and it's through the uprights. Let's go. Going long. Doesn't get there. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. That'll make it fourth and 14. Allen awaits the snap. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Room around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Florida State is up a field goal. And they make the stop at the 42. Cook gains about five yards on the run. It's second and five here. Ball on the 11. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Tate, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Florida State has a three-point lead. He gets it up, and it splits the upper line. The Seminoles have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. They yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, 
not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. This one will fall incomplete. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He's on the run. And he hauls it in. Tackle at the 26. Thomas wins him down at the 26-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. And he throws it away. Florida State with a six-point lead. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. And here's another third down. Makes this a fourth and very long. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it's good. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. From their own 32-yard line. It's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle around the 43-yard line. Andrews makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Taken down at about the nine yard line. That brings up second and one. This is the tenth play of this drive. Makes a move and he's in for the touchdown. Designed play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. He makes the PAT. Florida State is up two. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 36. State holds just a two-point lead. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up. And it is good. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. He airs it out. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. James makes the tackle at the six yard line. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead.
It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. It's a great time for the offense to stay on the field and try to make a two-point conversion. A two-point lead at this point in the game does you no good. They got it. You know, this offense is doing what they need to do to be able to put themselves in a position to either tie the game or maybe win the football game. But what about on the other side? Who's going to make a play for the defense? Who wants to win this game? And a lot of times, an individual on that side of the football can determine the outcome of the game. He's scrambling. And they got him. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry. is up it's got the distance and it's wide left no good that is just a devastating miss for this team they fought hard and played tough but in the end it just wasn't enough so this one goes final a hard fought close game michigan 15 florida state 12. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.